Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something very fun, a little bit unique, and just something that I've never done here on my channel. So if you don't follow Joanna Gaines over on Instagram or just pretty much anything that she does in general, you're definitely missing out. But over on Instagram a few weeks ago, she had shared that once a quarter, her and some of her girlfriends get together and host what they call a supper club. And she had shared over on Instagram, she's actually doing a giveaway for a group of ladies or just a group of people in general that get together to host a supper club. And each person from the group has to cook a recipe from her newest edition of her Magnolia Table Cookbook. This is the volume three cookbook. And just share pictures on Instagram and you can win a really amazing giveaway, which was like an all-inclusive trip to the silos and whatnot. Just a really fun, huge giveaway in my opinion. I've personally never been to the silos, but I would love to go. So I figured, you know what? I host literally all the time. John and I constantly have friends and family over here. Rather that be on holidays, birthdays, things like that. We've hosted some of our best friends um, wedding reception in our backyard before. And just like random nights throughout the week, we'll have dinner with friends or family. So anyway, I figured, you know what? I think this would be so fun. So me and a few of my close girlfriends are getting together this evening to host our very first supper club. So I wanted to take you guys along with us. I think that this would be so fun. So I wanted to show you some of the recipes that we are going to be making today. And then you guys are going to be coming with me to cook the entree. So I'm in charge of the entree since um, the supper club is going to be at my house tonight. Just figured that would be easiest because an entree is typically the biggest thing and that way no one would have to travel with it and whatnot. So but tonight we are going to be making some white chicken lasagna. So let me show you what this looks like. It looks so, so good. I cannot wait to dig into this. This is what it looks like right here. Also, can we just talk about how beautiful this book is? So this is the white chicken Alfredo lasagna and I already have everything for it. Just need to get it in the oven because it takes like an hour to bake. Um, so anyway, we have that going on. We are also going to be making some French bread. Um, one of my girlfriends is making that, Kaylin Cash. I'm sure everyone on here follows her already, which I actually think she is filming as well. So you guys can get two videos of this, of what she's got going on over there at her house and um, what we're gonna be doing tonight here at my house. So anyway, she is making French bread, some butter, and then there's also a blended peach drink in here that sounds super good. We also have someone bringing a cold brew from this cookbook and also a cold artichoke dip. There's going to be a wedge salad and then also some bacon and butternut squash, which sounds delicious. And then we also have a dessert as well and that is going to be the brownie cookies. So I am super excited to try out all these recipes. Oddly enough, I haven't made anything out of this cookbook yet. So tonight we are just getting the full spread and I'm so excited. So I wanted to take you guys along with me. I know I had mentioned before that I was going to be doing a Q&A soon in an upcoming video. And one of the questions was regarding hosting, um, just like how do I prep and things like that. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in today's video as well. Because again, we do host a lot. Um, a lot of the things that we host are extremely casual. And tonight is just a special night because again, this is the first time we've ever had a supper club. So we're going all out. We're going to be doing a full tablescape. Kaylin is actually going to be bringing some flower bouquets from her cut flower garden so those are going to be beautiful and then just all the finishing touches i do have some thrifted pieces that i'm going to be incorporating on the tablescape like some baskets um different vases different things like that we also have some gold flatware that's coming from a friend so we're basically just all taking things from each of our homes and combining it together and just having a really fun kind of girly night. <laughs> it's kind of like a mom's night out um, for the most part. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to it, but I just wanted to take you guys along because I think it would be super fun. If you have made anything from the new Magnolia Table Cookbook, let me know down in the comments what have you made and would you recommend it? I'm sure everything in here is delicious. I use my other two cookbooks from her all of the time and especially in the cooler months, there's so many good soups and just everything. Everything in there that I've ever had is wonderful. So nonetheless, I wanted to take you guys along and I just think it'll be super fun. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this lasagna. The prep work is not very long at all, but the baking just takes some time. So before we get started on that, I want to show you some of the things that I have on my dining room table so far, things that we're kind of planning to incorporate. Just remember when it comes to hosting, you do not have to go all out by any means. Everything in this video is just for a special evening. So don't feel like you have to go out and have all the pretty plates and silverware and cups and flowers and all the things. You definitely do not have to. This is just something very special and fun for us. So I wanted to show you guys as well. That way it can give you some ideas if you are wanting to have a special night at your home as well and just kind of spruce it up a little bit for some fun. 
So here is the French bread recipe. If you guys are wanting to try these out and you don't have um, the cookbook, feel free to pause this portion of today's video and take a screenshot. I'll go ahead and move this out of the way, but we're gonna be having this the blended peach sunrise. So there's actually no picture for this one, but I will definitely show you what it looks like once um, we have it here. The cold artichoke dip. I'm super excited for this. I love spinach and artichoke dip, so I'm curious as to if this tastes anything like similar. Um, so this one is an interesting one, but I'm definitely excited to try it out. And then we also have the wedge salad. I know not everyone is a blue cheese person, but I personally love blue cheese, so I'm very excited for this. Seems like very simple, but just really delicious. And here is the bacon butternut squash. Can't go wrong. I love squash and like sweet potatoes and things like that, and this just sounds really yummy. And then, let's see, what else we got here? Here is the chicken alfredo again. Um, chicken alfredo or lasagna. And then um, the dessert, where is it at? I just bookmarked it, okay, here we go the brownie cookies, which look really good too. So I'm a sucker for anything chocolate, so um, that should be very delicious. Last but not least is the cold brew with the sweet cream foam. So I am a sucker for coffee as well, which I'm sure most of us are, so this would be really exciting to try. I don't know, just so many good things, and this book is just beautiful. I love the green and um, just the aesthetic of everything that she does, honestly, but super excited. So now that we have that, let's walk into the dining room. So we're going to be having it, obviously, right here at my dining room table. This is going to look totally different right now. I just have everything set out. That way you guys um, know the things that we're using. So I have a little thrifted basket. I always use this as a bread basket. I know Kaylin said she's bringing one, so we're just gonna play it by ear and see which one works best. I also have white dinner plates, white salad plates. These are thrifted little um, wooden napkin holders. I got these a really long time ago, like napkin rings. So anyway, those came from the thrift store a long time ago. Um, typically, whenever I am like decorating my tablescape, I like to take the large um, dinner plate. I will stack the wicker charger on top and then I will place another little white salad plate on there. This is obviously if I'm like actually doing a full blown tablescape and not using it right away. I doubt I'll be using these tonight unless we're placing like the juice pitcher on there or something simply because it's not going to be necessary. But um, one thing about like white dishes, so they always look very pretty and aesthetic. Obviously they go with everything, but you don't have to break the bank when it comes to buying them. So oddly enough, these, all of these came from the Dollar Tree years ago. We use them whenever we host Friendsgiving um, and just any type of special occasion. So again, you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. These came from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. Again, these were all thrifted. I have a bunch of those. This is what my um, lasagna is going in. I don't have any like fancy dishes by any means. So a clear one is what we're working with. And I figured if I wanted, I could just set it here on this little wicker, um, kind of like a little tray. So anyway, I have that. Um, I believe we're gonna be taking all of this down. So it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna be doing a little bit of decorating in today's video as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to making this lasagna. It's getting a little bit, closer to time um i need to go ahead and start making that since a few of the ladies are coming a little earlier to help me do this tablescape typically not an apron wearer but i have this one and this is also what i'm wearing tonight so i really don't want to get food all over um anyway so this one is super cute it's just a little pinstripe one but anyways super excited i think the first thing i have to do is go ahead and boil the noodles and then i'm pretty much just going to be making the alfredo sauce from scratch it called for shredded chicken um, and originally i was going to get some rotisserie chicken and just shred that because that's always really delicious but our grocery store was out of rotisserie chicken today oddly enough so what i ended up doing if you, a little hack for you if you like have time and you're not in a big rush or anything um, I threw some chicken breast with salt and pepper in my crock pot, let it cook, and then I'm just going to take my hand mixer and just shred it that way. So works out really well. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I am um, not very clean in the kitchen when it comes to cooking. I make quite a mess. So go ahead and get my cookbook, get everything open and rolling. I'm so excited.
This calls for 16 lasagna noodles, so I don't know. Um, this one has like 20, so basically just, I'm just gonna cook the whole box. I have two boxes here. John's the one who went and did the grocery shopping for me this morning. <laughs> so um, anyway, but I'm gonna use a whole box of this. I'm gonna wait for that water to boil. All I did was add salt to it, as it said here in the instructions, which is typically whenever I'm boiling something, I almost always add salt or olive oil or something to it. Um, so anyway, wait for that to boil. I'm gonna add those, and now we are going to go ahead and make the sauce. So it says, in a medium skillet, melt butter over medium heat, add the shallots, which we couldn't find shallots, and when I looked up online what you can substitute for a shallot, um, it's recommended a sweet onion, so that's what I have here. And then, um, let's see, what else? I don't know, basically just let it all simmer down, add the garlic as well, and then you're gonna add in cream, milk, all those things. I typically always make homemade Alfredo sauce, so this is a pretty easy recipe, but I'm just gonna follow along with what she has going on here. So anyway, here we go.
middle of making the sauce and I realized that I do not have any shredded parm, which is what I always used to make my Alfredo sauce. Um, I know I had it on the list, but John must have forgot it. So I had to improvise and we're using this. I hope it turns out okay. It smells wonderful and I've taste tested it a little bit and it tastes fine. I just hope it like thickens up like it normally would um, had I used like the shredded parm. So I don't know, we shall see, but the noodles are going. The sauce, I just need it to simmer and thicken up. And then next up, we are going to shred this chicken. So I've had this in the crock pot. It was on high for like four hours. Um, I'm sure it's very tender now. I have it just on warm currently, but um, we have that. And then we're just going to assemble all of this. So it does call for, um, let's see here, spinach. And I also have to add in cream cheese to this sauce also. So that will definitely help. I actually forgot about that. So let's see here. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So I'm so excited. It smells so good. I literally cannot wait to try everything else that everyone else is bringing. I think it'll be delicious and I don't know, just a special night, something for sure to remember. cheese melt down I think it should thicken up a little bit and then if I need to I can always add some more so just have a little bit of everything going on here but nonetheless I think it'll turn out really good super excited I'm gonna go ahead and clean this part up um since everything else I'm just kind of waiting on so kind of have a fresh slate and then we can go ahead and shred this chicken Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and shred this chicken. Just have the crock pot shut off. This is going to be very hot. Um, I typically like to let it cool down for a few minutes, but I don't really have time for that right now, to be honest. So we're gonna go ahead and just shred this up. I think at the end of it, I need like two cups of shredded chicken, which in my opinion, it doesn't seem like very much for um, a lasagna, but I ended up cooking a little extra and then I'll just kind of play with it and see if I need more or not. That way it is a pretty filling recipe. Lasagna, just anything with pasta can be pretty filling obviously. So I don't know, but I think it will be really delicious. And probably all of these recipes are going to be ones that we will all want to use a lot. So anyway, like I said, I just have the chicken in the bowl. I'm gonna blend it. Can you guys tell I like blue? <laughs> my cabinets, my bowl, my mixer, my little food processor was blue. And we're just gonna go ahead and shred this chicken. It shreds so incredibly easy. laid out as you can see and now we're just gonna go ahead and build this thing so I think the sauce ended up turning out pretty good it's a little runnier than um, mine typically is but I don't know if that's because I used the grated Parmesan or if that's just how her recipe is um, nonetheless it smells delicious so I'm really excited to dig into this but it says go ahead and um, spread some sauce on your baking sheet so this is a 9 by 13 and then layer your noodles um, I also have spinach, chicken, more sauce, and just continue on with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start building. I am super excited. I don't really talk about this much on my channel, but um, John and I love cooking, and it's just something that we always have fun doing. We love trying out new recipes and just, I don't know, serving them to our friends and family and just seeing how they like them to test out some new things. So this is going to be a new recipe, or actually just everything on the menu is new to all of us, to my knowledge. I don't think any of us have made any of these recipes out of this cookbook. So it should be really fun. And 
I don't know. Whenever I saw that Joanna Gaines was doing um, this giveaway and she talked about the Supper Club, of course it would be amazing to win, but I just think it's so fun just to get together with girlfriends and just friends and family and whatnot and just have a really nice experience together. Um, this is actually a kid-free night for all of us, which is so funny because it's a very rare occasion. So we just want to soak it up and enjoy it. We'll get to have lots of good conversation, I'm sure, which is always nice. And I'm really looking forward to all of that. So should be a lot of fun. Okay, so we now have the first layer of sauce. We have the first layer of noodles. These are just, I mean, they're cooked through, but they're not all the way um, al dente, as she calls it. So um, they are a little bit, like they're still gonna cook down, break down with all the sauce and whatnot. So we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and layer in the spinach and just continue building on this recipe. I am a sucker for anything like spinach and Alfredo and whatnot. And we decided to go with more of a wholesome food menu. So that was another fun thing. We all got to choose, you know, what kind of experience do we want to have? I know I'm always a big fan of Mexican food and I also like Asian style food, things like that. But I love a good hearty, wholesome meal as well. So I'm really excited to try all of these things that we have going on. I think it will be really fun and just a really good time. I almost forgot the chicken. Now that I have that in the oven, I every time I cook anything and I'm hosting something, I like to use my time wisely. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apron off and we are going to get everything cleaned up. There's really not much to clean. Honestly, there's just a few dishes because this meal didn't require like a ton of dishes, measuring cups, all the things. So I like to go ahead and clean up the kitchen. Um, that way by the time it's done, everything will be cleaned up and I can just serve it without having all the fuss and all the mess in the way. So this is going to be baking on 375 for 40 minutes. I did cover it with foil per the um, instructions on the recipe. And then um, once that is taken out after the 40 minutes, you remove the foil and then let it bake again for another 15 to um, like 20 minutes. So I am going to be adding some shredded parm on top. One of my friends is going to be bringing that. So we're gonna be doing that. And um, other than that, that recipe should be good to go. It smells amazing in my house. I'm a sucker for garlic and like 
all of that type of stuff. Alfredo sauce is super good. So we have that. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this kitchen. And then as far as hosting goes, if there's any other like last minute things that I need to do before everyone comes over and for today's instance, I'm going to be vacuuming up the floors. There's just a ton of crumbs and stuff that comes with cooking and whatnot. And I also haven't vacuumed today, so it just needs it anyway. Um, I also like to check bathrooms. So if there needs to be any like toiletries in there, um, if toilets need cleaned, anything like that, you guys know I do live with four boys so um bathrooms get messy real fast <laughs> over here um so i have that and then um then i'll just like do any kind of tidying up for the most part everything else in the house is pretty good the boys spent the night with my parents last night and um, they're out with john right now so there hasn't been much to clean up as far as just like your everyday toys and just random things you know so anyways enough chatting let's get to cleaning this kitchen and then stay tuned for the end of this video i know this is kind of lengthy very chatty but i'm going to be showing you the full tablescape what it all looks like all of our meals put together and just the overall experience so definitely special and you don't want to miss it
thank you guys so much for being here in today's video like i had mentioned at the beginning this was just a very special night something that i think we will all remember and i highly encourage you getting together rather that be for a supper club or you can do something with breakfast a brunch with friends and family anything like that but just take one night a year or a quarter we plan on doing this once a quarter and just getting together in each other's homes and just coming together for a meal and just switching it up and just having a lot of fun with it it was definitely a lot of fun and having those special touches with the flowers and candles pretty dishes and just different recipes and new things for all of us so i want to thank you guys so much for being here um, i hope you give, consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new i would love to have you and stay tuned for much more content coming from me thanks guys Thank you.